Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Belle and today I'm going to be sharing with you a ColourPop haul and first impressions. So I have with me today um, the new ColourPop concealer as well as their new bronzer, pressed powder bronzer. Um, this is in the shade After Party? Private Party, Private Party. This is in the shade Private Party and as well as Kathleen Light's Dream Team collaboration with ColourPop, which is three lipsticks, two ultra satins, and one ultra glossy lip. So I'm very excited to share these with you today, so stay tuned for my haul and first impressions. And the cat ears are on. Alrighty, so let's get started with the concealer. I already have um, foundation on. So I got the No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 30. And I really hope that it is my shade because the lighter shade was out of stock. And I think the darker shade is out of stock too, but I'm pretty sure that it's either this shade or the lighter shade that is going to be better for me. I love the size of this. It's actually, it reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. So let's swatch this on the back of my hand. Ooh, it's got one of those paddle brushes. Okay, and... Get a little... Ooh. Okay, this m might be a little dark for me. I don't know. It probably isn't going to be much of a highlighting concealer, so this might be a disaster. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Let's just put this right on my skin. I mean, my face is a little bit darker than my hand, so this could work out. Oh. I don't know. A little bit on the forehead. Oh no, this brush is weird. Or this, whatever this is, is kind of weird. It reminds me of one of those lipsticks. Which one is it? I don't remember. Anyways, so I'm on the chin. Okay, that looks really dark. <laughs> Look how light it looks on the bottle compared to how dark it is in real life. What's up with that? So we're gonna take my handy dandy real techniques blending sponge and let's just give that a blend okay it is looking really dark <laughs> um i think i might have to return this for or maybe i don't know maybe i'll keep it for the summer when i'm a little bit darker than this that could work out. I don't know how obvious it is for you guys, but from what I'm seeing, it's just a tiny bit too dark. I wonder if the camera is actually picking it up as just right or not. But I don't know. <laughs> what do you think, guys? The coverage is good. It blended out really nicely. So yeah, this concealer is a little bit too dark for me. I am probably gonna have to go a shade down, um, a shade down, a shade lighter than this, especially if I wanted to highlight. Um, it's kind of like my skin tone, maybe just a, like half a shade darker than my skin tone. Um, so I might just keep it for a summer concealer. It's kind of got the consistency of the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Um, I've used that one a lot, and I'm in the shade Sand, which is uh, pretty good for, you know, concealing blemishes and things like that, but not great for highlighting and for my skin tone. But yeah, I'm gonna get a lighter one and maybe give you guys an update on that. Okay, so I've just powdered my face, and next we're gonna move on to the bronzer. The bronzer I got is the ColourPop Press Powder Face Bronzer. The pan comes in a little sleeve, and they also give you one of these ColourPop um, little palettes for the pan, if I can get it open. And you just slide it right in here, and good to go. 
I'm gonna take this crown brush and actually let's give this a swatch first ooh that's really soft super soft did I mention what shade this isn't this isn't the shade private party right shoot I already put it in yeah I'm pretty sure it's private party so right off the bat it looks pretty matte it has like just a tiny bit of shimmer so I think it'll be still it'll still be good for contouring um, although I don't know if the shade will be good for contouring because it's just a little bit warm I'm just gonna dip my brush in ooh that's a lot okay. tap 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 <laughs> all right and we're going in okay you can work with that It's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, not as like clown face as I thought it was gonna be. It definitely picks up a lot. I mean, I don't know if it's the brush because it's a little bit of a denser brush, but it does seem to pick up a lot of product once I up a lot of product so definitely don't forget to tap yeah I like this I think I can get away with contouring with it it's not too it's not like super orange so yeah I really like this bronzer I think I'm going to be using it a lot more. I just ran out of Tarte's Park Avenue Princess, so hopefully this will be a good replacement. Moving on to the lips. All right, so I have the rest of my makeup on now. I put on some mascara, um, blush, highlighter, and we are ready for the lips now. So I am so excited about this lip set because this is a Kathleen Lights collab with Colourpop and Kathleen Lights is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. She is so sweet and so beautiful and everything she makes is beautiful. <laughs> so I got her dream team which is comprised of Moonchild, an ultra glossy lip, Dreamy, an ultra satin lip, and Rev... 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 Rev, Rev, Rev Rever <laughs> an ultra satin lip as well and I believe this is named for the French word for dream um, I think is what Kathleen said and I should know how to pronounce that better because I took three years of French but what are you gonna do that was probably oh my god that was like 10 years ago I'm old let's start with Moonchild the ultra glossy lip first Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's so beautiful. So this is like a nudey gloss, very nude, um, with little tiny gold shimmers in it. It's so beautiful. Let me swatch this real quick. The shimmers are actually not super visible, at least in the swatch, but I think it adds a nice glow to it. Um, there is swatch a of Moonchild and then let's go ahead and put this on our lips very sheer so here we have Moonchild it is very nude and um, the shimmers in it are very hard to see it's not super obvious, but like I said, it does add a nice glow to the lips. It's definitely not my favorite gloss from ColourPop just because of how nude it is. I'm not a huge fan of super nude lips. I think if, I, if my complexion was a little bit lighter, this would be a little bit more flattering. But I think it could actually look good on other skin, deeper skin tones as well. So it's just not particularly my favorite. So next we have Dreamy. 
can't wait to try this one. I think this one might be my favorite out of all three of them. So here we go. Let's do a quick swatchy swatch. <gasps> oh my god, it's so beautiful. <sighs> oh my god, it's so beautiful. So that's true me, the second one down. Sorry for my messy swatches. I am no swatch spurt. <laughs> that is so lame. Okay, time to try this on our lips. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this already. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. You guys. Do you see this? This color though. Look at that. I love this color. <laughs> I knew I loved Dreamy and I love it. Oh my god, I can't wait to wear this in the, the springtime and the summertime and the fall time and the winter time like every day. Yep, this is probably my new favorite color. Oh, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I love this. Last but not least, we have Rev. Rev. <laughs> Rev. Rev. Rever. Rever. Um, Kathleen's favorite, I believe. I believe this. she said that this is her dream color. And she has finally created it. So, let's give it a shot. Gonna swatchy swatch. Oh my god, that is so brightly colored. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh my god, that is like a super bright orange, orangey red. That's like true orange red right there. Time to put it on our lips. Oh my god. I don't know if I can pull this off. <laughs> I rarely wear colors like this, that's for sure. Okay, not the most perfect application, but do you see my lips right now? Of course you do, because you can see it from outer space. Um, this color is beautiful. I would not wear it with this shirt again, but I mean, I don't even wear colors like this, and I think I'm going to be reaching for this a lot, especially during the summer. Um, I think it's actually really flattering on my skin tone. Oranges generally are. Um, some oranges look kind of too orange, but I really like this one, especially like maybe with a different blush as well. An orangier blush, I like my face to be kind of monotone most of the time um, for things to match a little bit. So yeah, this is a gorgeous color. Good job, Kathleen. This whole dream team is a dream team. And the Ultra Satin Formula, my favorite. So, can't go wrong. I love Dreamy and Rev. They're perfect, and I can't wait to wear both of these. So, that is it for this haul, this ColourPop First Impressions haul. Um, I really liked everything, and I had a really good time sharing it with everybody. So, Hopefully you guys liked this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! -bye. It's here, but I really wanted to test them out on camera and see how they work. Um, oh my god, my cat just puked on my bed. That's so gross! Oh my god, this has never happened before! What do I do? Ew! Okay, so that was fun. My cat just puked on my bed, so I had to deal with that. Um, okay.
let's get started for realsies now. <laughs> so moving on, we have Dreamy. Please excuse the crinkly noises, the staticky noises you're hearing because my cat is over there in his crinkly tunnel, which I should probably have moved out of the room before I started filming, but I did not, and now he has decided to go in there for the first time in a long time. <sighs> He's totally doing this on purpose too. Pop Aquarius, the ultra glossy one, um, but this one has 